Good morning, friends. Cheryl here with Ink Pulp, and it's time for Art Before Breakfast. Sorry about yesterday. I got up, and I just had no internet. I rebooted my computer. I rebooted the router, and I just couldn't get internet. It came back about an hour and a half later, but um, I just had no... I just had no internet. I'm trying to get... There it is. Um, so we didn't have art before breakfast yesterday, but we do today. And um, I thought we would do, I have these little peachy orange index cards that are blank on both sides. And so I thought we would make some pockets to go in journals. Um, I've got my, hang on a second here. And we got to do an update to the ideas journal too. We haven't put anything in there. Hi, Mimi, in a while. But yeah, these little pockets will work. They're a little bit wide, but that's okay. They'll work. Um, so what I want to do is... Let's see if I have my paper trimmer handy because I thought maybe I might cut a little bit off of the edge of those, but I don't, I don't see it right here. It's going to be more cleaning today. Holy cow, I've been cleaning stuff out. Um, but let me show you. This is my uh, Marguerite Miller journal. And this is the 52 week journal. I do have a playlist on this. So if you're interested in seeing them, you can huh, go take a look at the playlist. Some of these I don't even remember. So this, this is one I'm weeks behind. Hi, Penny. I am many weeks behind, like four or five. So this was week 40 I did yesterday cute little layout and then I started working on week 41 and I filmed it oh okay um I filmed it and I did the layout and I hated it I mean I absolutely hated it the only thing I liked about it is picture that I made the frame for out of um that gauze paper um you like this one yeah, this was the story of the circus people, people, the circus dancers, and they were getting ready to go to their next city. And so they had purchased their tickets, they had packed their bags, and they got their show pony ready because the show pony traveled with them. And um, then there was like something striped. So I used that striped um, lock to pay, look to paper that I use. And then there was one with a ribbon. So I made a little bow out of some sorry ribbon and then something messy. I just used some, you know, messy embroidery thread. Um, yes. So anyway, what I wanted to show is that it is possible when you're doing this stuff. Like I just hated it. So I started ripping everything off. And then I covered it with gesso and I've got these really neat little um, ridges in here. So I thought, I'm thinking maybe I'll do something with inks on this and then highlight like just on the ridges. Um, but I have to go back and redo this page now, which is fine by me. I'm not worried about it, but it is possible to redo, um, to redo a page if you really screw it up. All right, let's see, put this up here. All right, so I've got these cards. And what I want to do is put some book papers and I've got some music. I've got Sprout still left here. I think make a really cute journal cover, don't you? Um, and then I've got some dictionary page. So the first thing that I'm going to do is put cover the fronts of these 
And then what I want to do after that is take some napkins. Oh, look how pretty that one is. And put some napkin down over the top of it. Oh. Oh, wow. It's still warm here today. We still have one more warm day and then it starts getting cold. Okay, so let's pull out some book page and I'm just trying to look for some words that are fun words. This is a children's dictionary, so the text is a little bit bigger, which is good. Ooh, there's a bunch of butterflies. All right, so we'll do a couple of pages of that. Hey, Big Mama, yes, we did miss you. I hope everything was good with your son. So I'm just going to put down some, I'm going to do up, I don't know, three or four of these. And then when we, after we put the um, napkin down, we can do a little decorating. Okay, there's one there. And it's not straight. Let's straighten it up a little bit. Yeah, family time is great. I uh, I love it when my son and his girl come out. And um, Couldn't go on the wagon. <laughs> Couldn't quite go on the wagon all the way, huh? Let's do a couple with some dictionary. Boy, you guys, I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning, or 5 or 5.30, whatever it was. It was early. My husband said, what are you doing up at this hour? Because he was up getting ready for work. He does a little workout in the morning. He goes down to his shop where he has a little bit of a gym set up there. Okay, let's do two of those. And let's do a, yep, and get two on one page here. I'll be sad when little sprout's gone. But like I said, look at that. Isn't that fun for a back cover and a front cover? This will make a great um, journal cover when it's all done. All right. This looking which way I want to put this on. Aww. Hi, Scott. Holy cow, Penny. That's way too early for me. I have no reason to be up that early. But I also am a night owl, so I stay up quite late. And I need to have my sleep in the morning. 
Got us up between five and six. No sleeping in with her. She loved waking us up with her little feet running and jumping on us. There's nothing better than little kids, is there? We'll do two of these, and then we'll do a couple of the music. Cut them out, and then we'll... Yeah, I don't work out that early. I, um... Well, I don't really work out, but I'm going back first time since I got sick. I'm going back to walking this morning. I just between the knee and then the cold, I decided to take a little time off and let my body heal. And be smart about it. Oh, I bet you do, Big Mama. I bet you do. What's not to love, right? This is the back, so I'm going to want to get that off, but I'll get that with a glue eraser. And now let's pick a... It's about time for me to start. I haven't yet, but I got to start working on all the orders I have for Christmas. I know, Mimi, I have some from you. I have a bunch from Cheryl, um, Crafty Shamrock. And if anybody else is interested, this one's got a little tape holding it together. Hey, Marty. Good morning, friend. We're going to make some pockets today. You know that um, this is going to be a little bit of a downer, but I want to share with you anyway. Um, that lady that I told you has cancer and I want to do the memory light for her i may bump that up the list and do it sooner rather than later because she's in her last days she posted a video yesterday and the doctor said her her lung is pretty much just tumor at this point and she's having a hard time breathing and i know well when i'm actually ready to start you know Getting that stuff done, I will. I will let you know. And Big Mama, I think you said you also wanted the one of the three crosses on the hill. Um, again, I haven't started any of those yet, so. Um, but they will be coming. In between, I know, I know, her her doctor, like, she can't even go home now because her lung, her left lung is not even functional. It, the doctor told them it literally is mostly just tumor. And um, so she has to be on high flow oxygen, and they have no way of making that happen in a home situation. They need the hospital equipment. And so, oh, good morning, Dee. And so she can't even go home. She's in it, and it's going to be days or weeks. It's not going to be very long. So I was pretty sad to see that post yesterday. Made me sad. All right. But, you know, I guess that's the uh, cycle of life, right? It's not always purdy. So, Tammy, we're making some pockets. These are going to be... Um, book page with napkin over them so that you see the book page 
through the napkin. And I really need to get some more matte medium. I prefer to use matte medium. <laughs> okay, so there's one. Boy, you guys, you should have heard us at my house this morning. You know, we the remnants of the cold, like, you know, after you sleep and all the fluid, I don't want to get gross, but the fluid builds up in your sinuses and in your lungs. And so you get up in the morning and you're hacking and coughing and sneezing and, um, I mean, just trying to rid your body of all that fluid. <laughs> So both hubby and I were hacking and coughing and um so boy we sound like a healthy bunch. <laughs> Once you get it out of your system, it's not too bad. Now this I'm gonna keep because I'm gonna look at that pretty color paper. I'm gonna stamp words on that. Jens. Oh, you're not too late. I mean, there really is no, no such thing as late, Jens. It's just whenever you get here. I mean, we do start at 830, but that doesn't mean you're late that just means you weren't here for the very start all right let's make sure we have that down good get these two and the next two and then we'll start putting the napkins on the top of them anybody else crafting today and if so what are you making Hi, Donna. All right, there's that one. I hate to drive only because my husband is such a horrid backseat driver. You think I, it, it's amazing that I've not been in an accident every week of my life that I've driven because to hear him, you would think I was a terrible driver and I've never been in an accident. Well, starting your design for November. Oh, very cool. I was in an accident. No, I've been in an accident twice. And uh, in all my years of driving, but my husband is a horrible backseat driver. So I was threatening him. I say one more time, I'm going to pull this car over and I'm going to get out and I'm not driving anymore. And then he'll be good for a while. Hey, you guys, I want to ask a favor of you. And not that you have to go out and, you know, shout from a mountain, but I'm getting so close to a thousand. If you're talking to friends and think about it, please help me get to that thousand mark. That's like a big deal. And we'll do a, a big giveaway at a thousand. 
Yeah, sometimes my husband drives, sometimes I drive. We kind of, part of it too depends on what car we're going in. Because I have my car and he has his truck. And, well, mine's not really a car, it's an SUV. But, um, but even when I'm in my car, I will often give up the wheel to him. <laughs> So even with the uh, tremors, Donna, you're able to drive. I mean, that's good. I would hate for that car to start jerking all over the road. Oh, I'm not surprised, Big Mama. I mean, you've started doing videos. That, for me, was the... Uh huh. It's exciting to see those numbers go up, isn't it, Big Mama? I was, at the beginning of the year, just under 500, I think. All right, let's figure out. What we want to put on these. Um, I had that one. What did I just do with it? Um, I had that one, and actually, I think Mimi will love it, but I don't know what I did with it. There it is. It's from somebody. You know, I've got enough napkins to last a lifetime. <laughs> Yeah, I probably had um, been diagnosed with breast cancer. I had that last year, and it was last, um, well, it was a year ago this past January that I got diagnosed. And so that's probably... That's really the only big health issues. And then after that, it wasn't, I don't consider it a health issue, but I decided to go ahead and have my knee replaced um, because my out-of-pocket was met for the year. So it was going to be completely free, and I knew I had to have it done at some point. So I just decided if it was going to be completely um Free, I might as well just go ahead and bite the bullet and do it. But yes, that's what it was. Yep, I was kind of scared for me too. Um, you know, you just never know. Although I, I wasn't, I was more scared at the very beginning before I had my, before I knew if it was going to require chemo or not, because that was my big fear was to have to have chemo. Okay, which one shall we put this on? Let's put it on the music, because birds sing, right? Okay, have a good day, Big Mama. Let's put that on the music. Hi, Pam. How are you doing today? Depends which kind of chemo. Um, yeah, I just didn't want to. I uh, in no way wanted to do chemo at all. It's just. I'd have a lot of side effects with some, but it's pretty harsh on your body. I mean, you're basically poisoning your body to kill the cancer. And I just, I don't know, I was just scared to death of chemotherapy. That was really the only thing that 
truly scared me through that process was the thought of having to have chemo. Yeah, I had radiation and that was fine. I was absolutely fine with that. I had very few side effects with the radiation. Look at that. Mimi, look at these colors. Oh, I didn't burn. I really didn't. Um, when it was all over, I got some scaly skin. But during, during the treatments, I didn't have any. Yep, I know, Jens, you like those bright colors. I thought we would do one of these. There, look at that pocket. Isn't that pretty? Oh, stage one. I it was so early in the discovery process that um or the you know, I was so early when it was discovered. I know, isn't that fun? And look, you can see the music behind it. I love that look. Isn't that great? All right, let's do another one. Mm, I don't know if this is going to be big enough. That one's got cursive, so maybe the... How about that? Little blue bird and let's do that one. Oh, mine was definitely a tumor, but it was very small. And then um, they found when they did the MRI, that there was another spot of concern and um, they did another biopsy and it wasn't it wasn't a cancer yet although they did say carcinoma but um, but they the way they explained to me was that it was just highly suspicious cells and if I didn't take care of it, it would very likely I'm trying to get this. I've got some. Hang on, let me wash that off. Um, you had four what tumors? Yeah, I thank my lucky stars. I sailed through it. In fact, I'll tell you guys a funny story. You may have heard me tell this story. Um, when I, I had to have a lumpectomy to remove the, the tumor. And when I I had surgery on a, I don't know what morning, Thursday morning. And hang on. Trying to get this centered on. Oh, that's too high. Um, I had it on like a Thursday morning or a Friday morning. And the next day there was an estate sale with my favorite guy, my favorite curator. He always has such wonderful estate sales. So I um actually I'm gonna do it this way. This will be easier. Um I got up. And I had asked my doctor, I said, is there any reason that I can't be out and about, you know, right after my surgery? And she said, no. She said, if you feel okay, just don't, you know, lift anything. Don't do any heavy lifting. So I got up. And got dressed. 
and went to the estate sale. And Rob is the guy who curates it. And I said, Rob, I'm going to need your help today. Because <laughs> at the estate sales, you grab these boxes that they have and you like just fill your carry it around and fill it up. I said, I can get around and fill up my box, but I'm not going to be able to carry it, you know, like out to my car and stuff. Because I just had breast cancer surgery yesterday. He just shook his head. He said, what in the world are you doing here? <laughs> I said, well... I couldn't miss one of your estate sales. So yeah, I'm just, I was a year from completely being finished with radiation and everything. For me, it was a year in July. And I didn't celebrate it. I didn't, um, Oh, that reminds me, I need to call my, I had an appointment on Friday to follow up, you know, with the whole situation. And I was so sick on Friday. I had laid down and gone to sleep and I slept right through the appointment. I mean, I, I, <laughs> it was in the afternoon and I slept right through it and then didn't even think about it until Saturday morning. So I need to call and apologize for being a no-show and make a new appointment. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I went estate sale shopping the day after my cancer surgery. And I was fine. I, uh, you know, Rob helped me out and carried the heavy stuff for me. Oh, look at that one, you guys. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I agree. And I just really didn't want to miss that estate sale. They were going to have some good stuff there. And so I wanted to be there. And I was there. Hmm, how about one of these? I don't know that this will fit all the way, though. Nope. Not that one. I've got... Yeah, isn't that... And see how easy they are to do? Just take a card, cover it with some book page, and... Put some napkin over the top of it because it um, it will show through unless you have a really dark napkin. But I think there's one more here. So let's do this pink one. And let's do this on Sprout's page. Oh, we're only half an hour. We still have a lot of time. You know, you get that little bumpy part right around the edge of the napkin. I like to usually smooth that down if I can. Oh, I tore it. But that's okay. Just smooth it back out. There. You'll never know. All right. This is three. We have three more. Napkins are another thing that 
I have, I mean, I just went on, when I first got into this art form, I just went nuts buying supplies. I really cut back because I realized that Dyron napkin technique. What's that, Donna? Bye, Penny. See you later. Iron technique. I know, but what is that? I mean, what, what is the iron technique? Because you can't just iron it on there. How do you make it stick? That's what I want to know. How to have something sticky. Oh, is that where you put down? I know there are techniques where you put down like um, uh, uh, wrap. Hi, Cheryl. Um, you put down uh, like saran wrap cling wrap yep and then you put like a piece of parchment paper over it and then iron and the cling wrap melts um i have seen that yeah all right it doesn't really show the pink real well, but it's pretty. It's got leaves on it. Not my favorite, but it's pretty. Yeah, I think cling wrap too. So Cheryl, here are the two that we made so far. Two birds. And these are just um, some index cards that I had that I put book paper over. And now we're putting napkins on them. Let's see if I have. Oh, oh, look at this one for the fall. This is pretty. Ink with blue? Yeah, maybe. We'll do that next. Once I get these last couple um, covered, we'll start putting the ink on them. Oh, you couldn't get it to stay? Yeah, I've not tried it. But you know what I did try the other day? And I, I picked, and I kept meaning to bring them down here and show you guys. On my last walk that I did, I picked up a whole bunch of leaves that were, you know, red and yellow and green and orange. And I have them all sitting up on my kitchen table and they're all getting dry now. And I thought, well, I want to preserve them because when they get dry, if you go to glue them down, they will crack. And so I had remembered that whole cling wrap technique. So I thought, well, I wonder if I cling wrap them and then, you know, peel them up, if that cling wrap will sort of make them sturdier. And so I tried it and it was a disaster and it was a disaster um yeah i think blue may be a good deal there um so instead of parchment paper i used um wax paper and so there was wax in the top layer and then the cling wrap and it all sort of melted together with the um I can't get this. And I know you're all probably saying get some scotch tape, but I think I've already packed it away. I've been packing stuff away getting ready for the big clean. Um and so when I tried to pull it apart you know, the wax paper off, it just pulled half of the leaf with it. So I need to play with that again. Does anybody have any other um, 
I suppose I could laminate them. I know there's another layer here. Um, I don't have scotch tape, but I do have packing tape. And there it is. I knew there was another one on here. Um, so anyway, my first experiment failed. But I'm not giving up. So does anybody else do dried leaves and preserve them or have a way to... So I was thinking about laminating, but the problem with that is that, one, I don't have a laminator, and two, then you'd have to fussy cut all around it, and I don't want to do that, and then it would be all shiny, and I don't know, I just, laminator was not my choice. I've not bought a laminator on purpose because I just don't necessarily like the finish. So here's another one with leaves. Shall we put that on the sprout one as well? These are autumn leaves though. Look at how pretty that is. Okay, you guys help me out. Should I get Oh, I could do two of these. Should I do part leaves and part script? We're going to vote. A would be something like this, where it's part leaves and part script. B would be something more like this, where it's pretty much all leaves. So A or B. A or B, you guys? All leaves or leaves with script? I know which one I like, but what do you guys like? Oops, I'm going to have to do that on the other side because that one's got B with the... A was script, B was all leaves. So I got one of each. Okay, B was all leave. I have two for all leaves. Hi, Susan. And two for script. Oh, no, script, you already. Okay. So I've got two with script with, well, both script would have both. So I've got three for the script would have leaves and script on it. And I'll pull it over farther this way so we get more leaves. Script, script, script. And some with just leaves. So let's... With script, okay. All right, let's do that. I can always come back later and make another one. I saw yours. I saw yours with script up top. Um... I think I have my count right. You guys can, and if, I mean, I can always do another one with just leaves on it. Yeah. But that's not really, we can do one more if we need to. I'm gonna go with, the only reason I'm going with this is because it's smaller and I can get more of it on there. But let me hold up another one, Donna, and see um, what it looks like with that bigger script. That's the nice thing about these napkins. You can do them any way you want them. Pick whichever parts you want. This one's going to be pretty. Now, I could be tearing this, too, with my little ruler, but I'm going to just cut it off. Oh, welcome back, Cheryl. I didn't realize you had left. You might have said it. I probably missed it. All right. A 
cutting these napkins is difficult because it's still got glue in this spot and it wants to stick to the scissors and I gotta if I can't get that spot off I'll put some coffee dyed paper back there our heater went out yesterday oh my gosh Cheryl if it's not one thing it's another right isn't that just the way it goes All right, I burnish it from the back so I don't um, tear it. Ah, and then I tore it because I had glue on the, it's all right. You know what we do when that happens? Not that, that's not big enough. When that happens, we just take another little piece and glue it down over the top and no one will ever know probably wouldn't know the way it is now but I'll cover it up. there no one will ever know except us and then Let's see if I find a spot that doesn't have any sticky on it. I want to really burnish down where those bumpy edges were. All right. So there we go, you guys. What about that one? Isn't that pretty? Okay, Tammy. Yeah, thumbs up, everybody. Shall we stop with these four? I mean, we're not going to get four. It's already 47 minutes. Let's just do these. And I'll do these offline. I'll do some more. Because I want to get to decorating a little bit. So let's... Not exactly in the middle, but close enough. Oh, and I don't want to take the bird's head off, so I'm just going to put a little bit of a... <laughs> Not quite that little bit. I'll get a little bit of his head. There we go. And then these guys. All right. So let's get these inked up. Shall we do this one in orange or brown? Orange or brown? Here's my brown. And here's my carved pumpkin. Orange. Orange. Okay. You orange girls, I knew you would say that. Oh, this is pumpkin spice. I think this one, that carved pumpkin's really kind of like neon. I'm going to use this. orange spice oh that's pretty now I didn't seal these um, and that's okay you don't have to although when I was using the clear gesso on them they were coming out really nice real nice texture but um, I'm not gonna 
do that on these. Oh yeah, look at that. If that doesn't scream fall, I don't know what does. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? All right, so there's that one. Now, shall we try to do this one in blue, or should I just keep it vintage and do brown? I don't know where my blue colors are. Um, blue. Okay, I gotta find some of my inks I've already put away. Ooh, ooh. Here is Night Sky. I bet that would be pretty. Night Sky. Let's find a blue daughter. Uh, this one's faded jeans, but it'll work. Ocean. Oh, yeah. This night sky is really pretty. Look at that, you guys. Look at how pretty that's coming out. All right, you guys, what do you think of that? What about that? Isn't that pretty? All right, now I've got this one, and I have a fern green that I think I might want to use around that. Let's um, find my dauber. Use this one. Green, yep. That's what we're doing around this one. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. how pretty that one's coming out these are gorgeous gorgeous you guys now we're getting up to the hour mark so here's my question for you do you guys want to have one more session with this tomorrow where we can add some i don't know lace or ephemera and you know finish them up and then we could even do these other two or would you rather me just finish them and move on to something else and I'll show you when I'm done? The bird, let's see what you say. The bird is the one I like less than the other, the other two I like more. Oh, really? Which bird? This one? I love that guy. All right. Now, Mimi said blue. I don't have a blue out. This is not blue, by the way. If you're thinking this is like a mint green color, that is not blue. Um, so, 
hang on, let me see. I have this, um, this might be a better color. I have this aquamarine that's a little more along the minty green side. Can finish it tomorrow? Okay. Tomorrow finish, tomorrow finish. Okay, let me get this one inked up and Let me get this one inked up and then we'll, oh yeah, I think this is the right color for this one. It goes really pretty with the pink. So I'll finish just inking this one and then tomorrow we'll come back and do more of these. We'll get those other two napkins on them and then I'm liking this more now that it's got the color around the edges. Aquamarine. Yeah, those old um plates a lot of them had like a twall um, scene kind of thing on them there we go doesn't that go better than a dark I don't think a dark blue would have been good but it sort of pulls out these minty green colors all right ladies here's what we've done so far move all of this stuff out of the way Here's what we've done so far. We'll get those out of the way. I should have pulled that bird down. That bums me out. But it is what it is, and we'll make it work. All righty. There we go. Four pockets, two more to make, and some decorating to do. Yeah, I love them, too. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go and I'm going to go take my walk. Wish me luck that I don't blow out a knee again. And um, we'll come back and be thinking about, you know, like I'm thinking some lace, maybe some little doilies or I don't know, ephemera stickers, maybe. We'll see. All right, I'll see you tomorrow and we'll finish up. And don't forget this technique if you're not already using it. It's one of my favorites. Put down book page and then put napkins over the top of it. And it looks like, it looks like, you know, that's paper that was just done that way. So, all right. Have a great day, everybody. Love you all. Thumbs up if you haven't. Bye.